Good morning, Guardians. It is Ebontis here, and the weekly reset is upon us. Lots of things happening in the week of Destiny. We are only a few weeks out from Curse of Osiris, which is crazy. Um, and just a reminder for you guys, I will be out of town next week. So when you look for those videos, whether the Cade stash, the weekly reset, or the Nightfall, anything like that, will be I will just be off next week. So I come back Sunday, so it's going to be late. Not a lot of time, and then Curse of Osiris will be upon us. So, um, also another reminder, weekly reset videos, which usually happen for me about 3 o'clock now with Daylight Savings Time, 3 o'clock in the morning, now are going to happen at 11 a.m. Central Time for me. So, I'm going to be at work during that time. So, depending on my schedule, the way the day goes, I will just get the video up for you guys as soon as I can. Uh, it just kind of depends on how work goes and things like that, but especially if I change jobs, which may happen a little bit down the road, they will just be delayed till I get home from work. So I will always get them up to you guys as soon as I can. Don't think I'm going anywhere. But I just won't be able to do them at reset time. So if you guys wait a little bit, hold tight. I will get them to you guys as soon as possible. So let's jump into the week of November 21st and see what we've got to do. First things first, the Flashpoint is on IO. Good old crazy Vex planet. Uh, always an entertaining guy there when you've got uh, Asher Mir to talk to. Always said incredible things. You are going to have your public events here to knock out for your Flashpoint and get your powerful gear that way. Uh, you also have, always have a couple adventures. Uh, it's a smaller planet, but at least it has a couple, a little bit of variety when it comes to the public events, I think. So it's kind of nice to have that mix in there, especially the Taken ones. Um, and I'll get my Cade stash video up for you guys pretty much as soon as I can after I post this one. So know that will be coming shortly. I'll put a card up here up top so you can actually click on that link at this point. Or an, oh, I will also post a link at the end of the video and have it down in the description. So lots of places to find that Cade stash video if you guys want it. Next thing we've got is the good old Nightfall. It's a fun one this week. Modifiers are reasonable. So we've got the Pyramidian. Of course, it's on IO, so it makes sense. It goes with the Flashpoint. But the modifiers are Torrent. So this is the nice one because your abilities come back a lot quicker. You can throw, no, throw grenades like a crazy person, which is great. And you've got Time Warp Zero Hour, so you don't have to worry about the timer on the mission. It just is what it is. You start with, you know, 22 minutes or 16 minutes or 20 or whatever it is. And from that point, it just counts down. Can't really change it. Torrent's nice, though. You get your abilities back quicker. Your super comes back, you know, in a couple of minutes as opposed to, like, 20 or however it feels like so long. So it will be much quicker on all of yours, but your grenades, you can almost fight, throw those, you know, once every five seconds. It's really, really nice on those, especially if you're a Titan or a Warlock with those pulse grenades. Those are going to be really, really helpful. Next piece we've got is the Leviathan Raid. Now, this week, it doesn't say there's a challenge on it, but it should actually be Callus. Now, that's if they have it in there, if they do that rotation. We've had the other challenges so far, so this would be the final challenge, is the Callus challenge. So, when more news comes out about that, you guys can check me out on twitter.com slash I'll try and post up a quick little description of what to do there once I hear what it is. Um, I've got to work this morning, so I won't be able to jump right in. Uh, and the other piece, piece is the rotation, so I think it should be back to the original rotation, so you should go Royal Baths against the Bathers, the big fat guys, then you've got the Pleasure Gardens against the dogs, then you've got the Gauntlet, the Game Show, and the Running, and then you should have Callus and his challenge mode in the end. After that, you guys know Call to Arms, good time to do some Crucible, but an even more time to do Crucible, it's Iron Banner. So, Iron Banner is live. Now, this week, Iron Banner, I actually haven't checked what mode it is. Uh, just says Clash. So, Iron Banner Clash, actually, just right there. So, just good old 4v4, straight up, shoot everybody. So, uh, just all out team war warfare, destroy the enemy. Now, remember, you can't do get your tokens by playing your Iron Banner matches. Uh, you're going to be able to get, do your challenges as well. You can see the bottom left-hand side of the milestones. You do the three challenges within the matches. Those are going to be like, you know, get three kills with heavy ammo or stop somebody with your super. Whatever their challenges for the day, do that. Make sure you do that on at least all your characters, even if you knock it out on a couple and you don't do too much else. Try and do those daily challenges. That's going to give you a ton of tokens, at least time for value by the time you knock it out. So definitely try and accomplish those challenges. It may have you trying to do weird things in matches, but that's kind of part of it. So mix up how you play. And, of course, Clan EXP, just do that everywhere. Another reminder, if you guys are looking for a clan, we are still open. 33 members. 
we've actually done quite a few guided nightfalls, just haven't done too many guided raids, but we are level 6. Uh, if you guys need a clan though, let's look up legendary emblems only. It has to be exactly spelled when you go to do that search, but you find it, we are open. See if you can join on up if you need a clan. So that pretty much covers the activities for the week. Iron Banner, as you can see, the giant fire is burning up there. I'll be up there in a minute. But before we go up there, we're going to go ahead and check out Eververse. Now, the other thing that I would normally buy this morning is the Cade's oh, Treasures. Uh, the treasure that. maps, not the Cade's Treasures. Treasure maps, but as it will be a little while till we get to that, um, I'll do those in a different video, and I will get to those so you guys can see them. But we've got the Get Up emote. Come on, man. Get up. Get up. Got any fighting you left? We've got the Spicy Ramen, which is one I actually do not have, so it's always a cool one. All of the neon ones, the exotic ones are cool. Now, from what they have said, the emotes and some of this Eververse stuff is going to change and kind of go away after Season 2. Now, previously, they had like, here's this little box where you can get a random thing from Season 1. You still may be able to do that at some point, but if you are looking for some of these emotes and you do want to pick them up, they are expensive, but if you want to buy, get some bright dust in some way or some silver, you can do that. We've got Dina's Emery's. Fairly plain for Watch for the Dragon. Here's a hint. It'll be ahead of you. Ariande Gris. So, kind of a clean look. A little bit of gloss to it. If you want to throw a shader on it, for example. Looks pretty cool still. Then we've got the Imprint Ship. Um, looks fairly normal. Just kind of black and white. A little monochromatic there. Exotic ship, Symmetry Flight. To have light, we must have dark. This is the symmetry of the universe. Uh, I actually like this ship. It's really, really cool. It is still that monochromatic coloring, but as you can see, you've got like two hands here with like a torch and a sword. And then on the other side, you've got the opposite coloring. So literally, like right in the middle, you can't really see it uh, at much of a point, but it does actually change. So you got the exact opposite hands, sword, and like torch hand in the back. So it's a pretty cool looking ship, and even when you throw it, might even be able to easier see, easier see if you pop a shader on there. So you can literally see it's like the exact opposite coloring on the other side of the ship. So it's pretty cool, definitely one. If you got the money, it might be cool to pick up if you've got some silver dust just laying around. For your ornaments, we've got the Symbiosis. This is going to be for your Sturm. Good old exotic quest, you know, hand cannon or sidearm or whatever it is. You get a cool looking skin for that and Tesla's Revenge for all the goodies of things I've seen with um, Ward Cliff Coil and some stuff on PC that is pretty broken but it's happening so oh well got the Helm of Optimacy so all your helms for the week of you know the 21st for your season one Optimacy year looks like my face fell into a razor blade but you know I would maybe a headbutt will do a little more that way who knows Heraldic Shell Hunter Shell we've got the Frumious Blue See what some of these look like. Uh, a little bit of shiny chrome look, actually, almost. And then you've got that blue accent color on it. Not too shabby. Xeno Silver. This one always looks kind of cool. Just takes a second to load. I am not on PC. So, mostly blue. I say They say Xeno Silver, but it's honestly mostly just a shiny blue. And then we've got Bumblebee. One of my favorite ones. Always like that black gray. Even though this one is really bright. Kind of feel like Bumblebee's not quite that bright. He's bright. Maybe not quite that bright. A little more black accents and I'd be happy. But, yeah, can't win them all. So, definitely got your bold colors there and your good old fire team medallion. So, that pretty much covers it for the week, guys. Um, for activities, again, the Nightfall is definitely an easy one. So, if you go in with a group um, with Torrent, you should be able to do a lot of uh, quick work on those Nightfalls if you need to run multiples, multiple characters. Even if you want to try and solo it, I'll be trying to solo it later this week, just time depending on holidays and work and things like that. Iron Banner is live, so if you guys want to try and pick up that gear, again, of course, make sure you do that. Come up here to Lord Saladin, and you can check out his uh, wares by turning in all your tokens that you can. Remember, oh, he's actually 299 right now, which is actually fairly high. But, see, I'm even partway through my reputation from last time, so you'll be able to turn him in and see which... Uh, little packages you can get from him as well but i think that pretty much rounds up the weekly reset for you guys next video that will be coming will be the Cade stash video just the locations in that guide on io so you guys can have those but other than that thank you guys for tuning in 
as I said, I will be out of town next week, uh, just doing a vacation with my wife, so that pretty much none of the videos will be up. But after that, we have Curse of Osiris. I will definitely get the weekly reset videos up as work allows, because that weekly reset time is going to change to 9 a.m. Pacific for all across the world. So that will be 11 a.m. my time. I will be right in the middle of work. So as soon as I get home, I will still get those videos posted for you guys. So don't think I'm going anywhere. Just a little delay for those videos to go up. Other than that, guys, thank you for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you drop a like below, if you did enjoy the video, I would appreciate it. If you have a comment or question, of course, leave those below. I will try and get back to you guys as soon as I can. And thank you guys for the support everywhere on Twitch.com. Twitch.tv slash Ebontis. You can follow me there when I go live on Twitter.com slash Ebontis. Follow me there for just updates, news, things like that. As I said, when the Kala strategy comes out, I'll try and post a tweet for the strategy. And of course, right here on YouTube. Subscribe to my channel, guys. To support me here. We are close to 8,000 subscribers. Really would like to blow through that one if possible. And for you guys as well, um, if you want to hit that little alert bell, you guys will know when new videos come out. So thank you guys for everything. It's been great so far. You guys keep helping my channel grow, so thank you very much. Have a good one. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you're at around the world. Have a good one.